In today's video, I'm going to explain glaucoma in the simplest of terms so that anybody out there can have an understanding of it within about the next eight minutes. Hang around. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD. I'm an ophthalmology resident and I'm teaching you some things about ophthalmology along the way of my trip to becoming an eye surgeon. So if you're interested, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to explain glaucoma in the simplest of terms so that pretty much anybody out there watching can get an understanding of it in about the next eight minutes. So who is this video for? It is not for practicing ophthalmologists or glaucoma specialists. It's really not even for residents unless you were looking for a good, easy way to explain glaucoma to your patients. This is more geared to the general population, maybe somebody who has been told that they have glaucoma or that they are a glaucoma suspect their nerves and their eyes maybe look like glaucoma maybe your eye doctor told you that what does it mean what is going on in your eye and what does it mean for your vision long term so on a very simplistic level what glaucoma is is just damage to the nerve that runs from your eyeball to your brain now this nerve coming out of the back of my little toy eyeball here that's the optic nerve it's a long little nerve that makes its way from the eye to the brain and it tells the brain what the eye is seeing it takes all that information of light coming in and what's happening into the eye and it sends it out through the back of the eye through that nerve to the brain and glaucoma is essentially just damage to that nerve now there are a lot of different ways to get damage to the nerve glaucoma is one type of way that you can have damage to that nerve so there's a bunch of nerve fibers in the back of the eye they're sensing light out there they're seeing things and then they come together to this point they come together and they leave the eye at the optic nerve now if you think of that optic nerve as being like this donut and you take that little cross section right there at the back of the eye and turn it on its side this is kind of what it looks like. When I look into the back of the eye as an eye doctor and I look at your nerve, it looks like a donut basically. There's a little hole in the center and then there's a nice big rim of tissue. Now a nice healthy nerve has a good thick amount of tissue and a smaller little hole. There's something in ophthalmology called the cup to disc ratio, but it basically just means what is the ratio of the size of the hole in the middle to the size of the whole nerve? Now, a normal ratio will be about 0.3 or 30%, meaning only about 30% of the entire nerve is that little hole. That means you're left with about 70% of nice, healthy donut or healthy rim tissue. It means you basically have a lot of healthy nerve tissue, a lot of healthy optic nerve leaving the back of the eye. Now glaucoma is when there is damage to that nerve, when we start to lose those nerve fibers. So while glaucoma is very studied, we don't entirely understand the disease in and of itself. We know that having high pressure in the eyeball can lead to damage of that healthy donut, that healthy nerve tissue. So if the pressure in the eyeball is too high for too long, we start to lose that rim of tissue and our once healthy plump donut with all that good nerve and rim tissue starts to look more like this. It has a big hole in the center and just a tiny, tiny thin little rim of tissue left. And unfortunately with glaucoma, when that nerve tissue dies, it doesn't come back. It's kind of like spinal cord tissue. When you have an injury there, it doesn't typically regenerate. Same in the eye. When that nerve tissue is lost, it doesn't come back. So with glaucoma, we're trying to prevent further loss. We really can't regenerate those nerves that have been lost. So you're probably wondering, well, why does it matter if the nerve is getting thinner? What does that mean for my vision? What does it mean for what I'm actually seeing? Because that's what matters for the patient. Well, this is where things with glaucoma get a little bit scary because it basically causes you to lose your peripheral vision. And the dangerous part about glaucoma is this is something that people oftentimes won't notice because their central vision where they're looking around with is still very clear, even in end-stage glaucoma oftentimes. In untreated glaucoma, patients sometimes will not even realize that their field of vision is constricting until it's too late. They don't see that it's happening because it's so slow and gradual over time. Okay, so at this point, we know glaucoma is damage to the nerve that goes from the eye to the brain. We know that it's basically a loss of our nice, healthy donut tissue where it thins out and we're left with only a tiny strip of healthy tissue taking that information from the eye to the brain. So how do we fix it? How do we treat it? And how do we prevent further loss of our peripheral vision? Well, there are a lot of ways to treat glaucoma, but they pretty much all center back to lowering the pressure within the eye. Yes, believe it or not, just like your blood pressure, your eye has its own pressure within the eye. If you think of it like a basketball that you pump up, it comes to a certain pressure and it needs to be a good pressure to function properly. So there is a normal pressure within the eye. So the way the eye has its own pressure is that it's constantly making fluid. Now, if you think of this container being the eyeball, it's filled up with fluid and it's constantly making fluid. So if I'm pouring fluid into the top, if the eye is continuing to make the fluid and it's not draining it, so if this little valve is not working, it's not draining it at the same rate, 
the amount of fluid within the eye is gonna go up and that's gonna cause the pressure to go up. So we have to have a balance between the rate that the fluid is being produced in the eye and the rate that the fluid is being drained from the eye. But that's really where our treatments focus in treating glaucoma. As we try to lower the eye pressure, because that high eye pressure we know will put pressure down on that nerve as it leaves the back of the eye and it will damage it and it will cause you to lose that healthy rim tissue over time. We know that and that's the really the way we have to treat it is lowering pressure. We can do that in one of two ways. Either we can stop pouring the fluid into the eyes quickly or we can help it drain the fluid faster. So that's what our therapies focus around. Whether they be medications like drops or oral medications or surgery, they all focus around either lowering the rate of production of fluid in the eye, meaning not making fluid as fast, or they work on increasing how quickly and how efficiently the fluid can be drained from the eye. If we drain the fluid faster, we're gonna lower the pressure. If we don't produce the fluid as quickly, we're gonna lower the pressure. And so that is the goal in treating glaucoma. So let's recap. What is glaucoma? It is a disease of the eye. It involves damage to the nerve as it leaves the eye and travels to the brain. That nerve as it leaves the brain goes from having healthy amount of rim tissue to a very thin, tiny little rim with a big hole in the center where we don't have a lot of functioning nerves left. The way we treat glaucoma is to lower the pressure inside the the eyeball and we can do that in one of two ways basically lowering the amount or rate that the fluid in the eye is made or by increasing the rate or efficiency at which it's drained from the eye getting the pressure under good control can keep glaucoma from getting worse and can keep you from losing your peripheral vision gradually over time. It's important to keep following up with your doctor or your glaucoma specialist because even over time, if you are not noticing loss of that peripheral vision, it can still be happening. And sometimes very small changes and worsening of glaucoma can only be picked up with some of the testing that we do in the eye clinic. So I hope that video made sense. Remember guys, keep your donut nice and thick and healthy. That is the way to prevent glaucoma. I hope this video kind of explained it in a simple, easy to understand way. And it gives me an excuse and reason to eat some of these donuts now. So if you guys like it, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD. I'll see you guys in the next video.